the stupidity of this mill never ceases to amaze me. So um, I got all of the um, ways, all the dovetails, all that is scraped in. Everything is flat, perpendicular, parallel, getting ready to um, reassemble this guy. And I'm taking a look at the uh, so-called one-shot oiler. So we can see here that it does have um, these uh, oil grooves here. And then originally what it had is, where are they? So it had these little um, plastic tubes in there. And how this guy was is it had one here on this side and it had one there, these little plastic tubes and I basically just cut them off because they were sort of munched up. And so they went there and then that went around here and then he had a one shot oily oily pump right about there. So, okay, great. That takes care of the top ways. So I'm stepping back and looking at, um, well, how does oil get to the bottom ones? So let's take a look at that. We have the bottom ways and we can see that, yes, it does have these two nice um, oil grooves in there. We can see that it has oil channels where oil allegedly allegedly gets to them uh, but let's let's see what goes on there so that oil hole from the bottom straight through here and straight through there um, but wow there is no way there's no pressure there's no pressure feed to it so what they were doing or at least counting on is you pressure feed oil up here pressure feed oil there and then any runover or spillover will probably get caught in this little reservoir and then that spillover will drain down to the bottom ways um i'm sorry that's just plain idiotic okay um i'm not a machine rebuilder i'm not a machine designer i'm just a mechanical engineer with a little bit of common sense and i know that you know there's just no way that spillover oil is enough to lubricate those bottom ways so what i'm going to have to do here is somehow re-engineer this guy the approach i'm thinking about is um on the face here on this front face and on this um, back face there, simply drilling um, some holes in here perpendicular so that they line up with this um, through hole and then putting a little angle block there and then feeding that guy to the um, one shot oiler. I'm hoping that will work okay because we have the um, sorry we have the um, locking screws here and thankfully um, this does not actually intersect with that uh, locking screw there. Um, so there's enough room in the front here, maybe right around there, and the, the um, DRO will go on the front of the table there, and I'll probably have, I'll probably mount the DRO pickup um, out here somewhere, and that'll actually also take care of the, um, the feed stops. So hopefully I'm, by putting that little um, angle uh, angle plug right around here and maybe having that thing stick out oh uh, hopefully no more than about three-eighths or so there and then um, I don't know somehow routing a oil line down here and then into the um, one shot oiler that uh, should take care of it so Nice job, Grizzly. Never cease to amaze me with your quality.